Well, let me ask you this, because I know John Tortorella, who obviously is a coach here in Philly now, he was an assistant. Was Torts as an assistant more of a, not as like, you know. Like more of a player. Like more coach. of a player, like, hey, like JR, like, you know, like kind of yeah. that guy, the friendlier guy, which most assistants have to be, or yeah. they don't have to, but. Yeah, one of my favorite, one of my favorite coaches of all time. Uh, John is. He, he was like that as an assistant coach. He was a guy that was really, he could talk to the players. He had a great personality. Like he smiled a lot, but he, he also talked to you the way that you need to be talked to. He didn't, he didn't stroke your back. He didn't, he didn't really browbeat you, but he, he, he had a cool and very accepted, accepted level of, um, of whether it was uh, criticism or suggestions or something like that. he had a really good um, way of dealing with players through the coaches. Right. And, you know, he's, he's a tough coach. There's no question about it. He's, he's a, he's a no bullshit guy. And that's how I always love John Tortorella. He is one of the old school guys, but I think he has, I mean, he has a level of, of knowledge and, and how he feels about the game in his heart. And that's how he coaches. And I, I, I think what he's doing for Philly is absolutely spectacular. I think yeah, he's the perfect is. coach. I think he's the perfect coach in Philly. I think they're all getting it now. You see what they're doing this year. There's nobody that has put Philly where they are right now in the beginning of the year. You know, Keith Jones is doing an amazing job of bringing in the right people. Danny Briere is bringing in back guys. Like, listen, and I really think it's a, it's a, it's, it's a mentality, right? You go into a, into a team, you put on a jersey. There's an attitude and a mentality behind the jersey you put on. And everybody mm -hmm. knows the Philadelphia Flyers to be a hard nose, in your face, broad street bullies type of mentality. And they haven't had that in the last five years. That's now right. you, you bring in John LeClaire in the locker room. You bring Paul Holmgren in the locker room. You bring Patrick Sharp back. You bring, um, you know, Bob Murray, who's a, a who's a very hard nosed type of mentality of a hockey mind. There's so many guys that they have brought in to build uh, an identity with those players those players have to they have to react a certain way um and they're doing it i, I love what john tortorella because we win because we have balls that's right it, it's awesome i mean that's exactly right and more teams should play the way that the flyers are playing the way that the arizona coyotes are playing uh that in your face hard team to play against and it's it's impressive yeah. uh, i was gonna ask you real quick about uh <clears throat> i know danny danny breer I uh, was just getting his start in the NHL in Arizona, but I, I know he only had a few games, I think, while you were there. But no, he lived he lived with me for six months. Oh, he did live with you. Okay. Yeah, I was yeah. looking at yeah. his games played. I wasn't yeah. sure how long, yeah. but um No, he lived he lived with me. He's he actually lived in my in, in my guest house for six months when he was oh. a rookie. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. Well, yeah. he I, what I was gonna ask you about him was so when he was breaking into the league, and Riley and I have talked about this before. Obviously, he's not I call him little guy. We call each other little guy, but uh he was playing in a hard error. Like you, I mean, it was a hard game, right? Like obviously it's yep. Yep. way harder than it is now, but uh, kind of got to give him a lot of credit for, you know, he, he had a really good career and he wasn't a very big guy and he was playing when it was a hard, yeah, hard game, fearless. I should say. Yeah. He, he was, and coach, that's a really good, good description. Fearless. Like he, he was smaller, not that strong, but he, he was not afraid to go into the fray, right? Mm -hmm. he, he went to those high traffic areas. He was, he, Danny Breer was such a smart hockey player, and obviously we know the talent was there. But his ability to to find find those holes and be in the the right place at the right time and have such such an accurate shot. I mean, look at his look at his playoff record, right? Yeah. Look how many goals he scored in the playoffs. This guy is a clutch clutch performer and knows the game as well as anybody. He did such a great job in the minors, you know, in, in, in coaching and G and managing, and he's going to do the same thing in Philly. He's one of my favorite people in the world. And there's nobody that deserves it more than Danny Breer to tell you the truth. Yeah, I agree. He, we, uh, we had a pretty good, we have a pretty good relationship and he's a good friend and so happy when he got the job. And he, he's, he's like you said, him, he and Jonesy and everyone they brought in, yep. um, they're doing a phenomenal job there. Well, listen, um, you, you, can't, you can't create, you can't create an identity without people that have, that don't, understand what that identity is and everybody that's that. in that in that organization has worn with the exception of bob murray has worn that jersey and knows right. what it means to put on you know put that jersey on it means more than just slipping on and go playing there's there's a history behind it and there's and, and i think there's a 
you know, there's an attitude behind it and they're playing like it this year. 100%. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, they're definitely building the foundation as, as you know, as, as as Ed Snyder would have loved to see his legacy kind of continue yeah. is like they're bringing that, you know, that they're bringing the essence back, the spirit back and, you know, yeah. again, from top to top down, right? I mean, everyone's yeah. buying into it and, and, they're, and they're laying out this foundation for what you, I guess you'd call it a rebuild, which <laughs> could be yeah. you know, somewhat you know questionable crazy. now. <laughs> yeah, crazy, but you know, it's crazy, Coach. It's amazing. It's amazing watching other teams do it, right? And and you, there there's a blueprint. There's a blueprint for how you win. And it's amazing. You know, sometimes it's good when you learn it, but it's you also have to give other people um, kudos to learn from other people, from watching. And that's that's why I say it. it's why that you know I I I keep harping on Buffalo, but they they allow me to do it because how can Buffalo not see how Philly is playing? How Philly is hard to play against, how Arizona Coyotes, who their roster is as, as diminished as anybody, but they, they got some good young players, but they play a certain way. They play with an identity with the that is and an attitude. Mm-hmm. Why does another team say, why can't we play like that? They just they don't pay attention. And it's you can't just put your skates on and tie them up and going out there and think it's just going to get turned on. You know, you have to prepare for it and you have to be willing to sacrifice it. And sometimes I just don't see these, these teams. They just don't get it. They don't yeah. get it. And it's just, it's just, it's just, I guess it's, it's, it's the uh, inability to put these teams together with the, I, I guess the right. The, 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 the right, the, yeah, right. I mean, because it doesn't, yeah. it's, that's not about necessarily like, you know, all the, the great pieces, but like you look at the flyers, like, the pieces they added, they're all contributing, but they're all bringing, you know, the, the main ingredient, you know? Yeah. It's, so it's like, it's beyond the, the skill and it's, I mean, obviously you have to have skill and there's no question, but. Yeah, you know, I mean, look, but at the the, Bruins, look what the Bruins are doing too, right? The Bruins yeah. lose, lose five absolutely integral pieces to their, to their team right. from last year. And, you know, they bring in some of these young kids and some of these young kids are taking advantage of the opportunity. And again, they're, they're still up on top of the league. I mean, it's, yeah. Again, it's you gotta you, you gotta understand how to win. You gotta understand who you play for, and you gotta understand what it takes to win. It's it's a hard line. You guys know it's a hard mm-hmm. it's a hard line. But it, you're a professional, and you're expected to uh, to bring it every night. But I feel I feel bad for s- certain fans in this league that are just getting gypped of honest efforts. Just yeah. honest efforts. That's it. 